Every congressman and woman has sleep deprivation because they get up very early and work all day long into the evening and get to sleep very late. My name is Steve Kagan and uh, my day started out about uh, 6 this morning, getting up checking email and then I checked in with C-SPAN to see what's going on in the world, checking the headlines and hearing some call in. From here we're going to go uh, downstairs to my office. <coughs> It's two minutes. We got plenty of time. And I think we have some constituents. Terry Fret. Yes. Hi, Laura DeGaulle. You just saw you the other week in Appleton. Yes. Thank you. We're Notice to these people about. have accents. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming out. It's You're good welcome. to see you. And away we go. Yep. We're going to vote. Five votes. Healthcare is the uh, subject of the week. So we're trying to uh, win the battle. We're only up against big insurance companies, big drug companies, so uh, it's a fair fight, right? Back to my office, we're gonna do a uh, interview. Every week at this hour, about 11 o'clock, I have a radio interview or a television interview, and I call back to the district. We have a conference call about what's happening here in Washington. So this is a uh, summary, six pages, small print, of the changes between the first version of the health care bill and the current one that just got released uh, last evening. <coughs> it's only 1,018 pages, so I should have it done in a few days. And we're taking a look at it to see what we can uh, do to improve it. Good morning, everyone. This is Congressman Steve Kagan in Washington, D.C. I'm in my office. <clears throat> my, my way of saying it is this. We secured equality at the lunch counter and now it's time to guarantee equal opportunity at the pharmacy counter. Thank you for your time and have a great day and I'll see you in a few days in Appleton. Take care. Yes, I'm good. Go to work. Yep. Get something done. <laughs> Government worker you. Going to Congress is a lot like going to college. I get to pay a lot of rent for very little and I've got two other roommates. One of the roommates is from uh, Colorado, Ed Perlmutter, and the other one is Bruce Braley. So Ed wore a pedometer to see what he's doing for mileage. Two to four miles a day, that's what we're walking. That's Wisconsin art. We just voted about not adjourning, and I had some conversations on the floor with uh, Republicans about the health care legislation and how we can work together to improve it. But that's where the real action takes place. There's no staff around to prevent some intimate conversations about bills and specifics, and it's a lot of horse training going on there. That's really the place where politicians determine who lives and who dies. I have a bite to eat, and I'm going to go down and make some calls to people in Wisconsin. Okay. listen to testimony about the need to fully fund uh, our water resources to guarantee we have clean water, not just for our own generation, but for generations to come. The subcommittee has held numerous hearings on the condition of our wastewater infrastructure. I have also the great honor of representing, I think I represent more shoreline than any other congressman. This is the pin that gets you through security. There are 435 of them and the spouse of the uh, male or female member of Congress also has a different pin. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this for a while till I can fix the healthcare system and try and end a few uh, wars and try and rebuild our economy and help us to become energy independent. When I get that done, then I can begin to think about doing something else. Thank you for your time. <laughs>